Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven Gaming Labs, and welcome to Aatrox, a very uh, obscure RTS that pulls, uh, it pulls a lot from uh, a couple different uh, games, if you will, um, and I'm sure you guys will be able to guess which game when we actually play the single player. Um, we're going to play the campaign for the first, well, all the factions. We're going to play the first mission in this video. Um, but before we get started, I do want to watch the intro. Before we want to, sorry, before we watch the intro, I uh, just want to say, don't forget to uh, throw down a comment, hit that like button. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can become a member. There's a link in the description and you get all sorts of the lovely goodies that comes with supporting the channel. Plus, you know, I greatly enjoy my work supported. So without further ado, let's watch the intro. And I'm not going to say anything during the intro, but I want you guys to think back to movies that you've seen. I want you to think real hard. And I want you to think, I've seen that before. Okay, that's the only hint I'm going to give you. Okay, so first off, that was actually a very nice intro cutscene. Uh, you know, this game is from the early 2000s, I think 2001, 2002, somewhere around there. Uh, may even be from 2003, but I'm pretty sure it's from 2001, 2002. Um, yes, so just pause the video and put down in the comments, like, where you feel like they got inspiration for that cutscene. Because I'm just going to say right now... That was totally from Aliens, especially the part where they walked in and everything. Like, that, like even the weapon design kind of looks like Aliens. So now, let's move on to 
the next, you know, part and see if you guys can figure out where they got inspiration for this game. Uh, yes, there are three factions. The one faction is the Homininian, which I guess is humans. The Cretis, which is some kind of biological alien thing. And then they have the Intellion. And... Yes. So... You are thinking correctly, if you have played StarCraft, that this game is greatly inspired by StarCraft. Like, 100%, there's no doubt in my mind, this game is completely and utterly inspired by StarCraft. Um, now, with that said, that does not make this game, by any stretch of the imagination, bad. At all. So we're going to start with the uh, Intellions. Uh, so we have to transport the alien organism... Uh, the, the transport carrying the alien organisms crash landed. We have to retrieve the sample and we have to keep our hero alive because yes, this does have hero units much like Starcraft. Um, and that would be this guy. He's, he's pretty brutal. All right. So I'm just going to lock all these dudes together. There's no like really good attack move or anything like that. Um, so super fun. I don't actually know how tough this mission is. I actually haven't done this mission. So... Yeah. Oh. He is really tough. Like, really, really tough. Does he have, like, special abilities or something? Yeah, he's got armor and defense. Yeah. Okay. Gotta select my grouping here. What's, what's crazy is, is that this game really did take a lot from StarCraft. But having played through the human campaign um, and, uh, you know, everything else, I have to say that the game itself is pretty solid. Like, yeah, it pulls a lot from StarCraft. And in some ways, it's, it's a clone. Uh, there is no way around acknowledging that it's a clone other than just outright it's a clone. Um... Sorry, I, I want him to live, so... Oh, good. Oh. Oh, okay. I have no idea. Alright. Yeah, okay. Ah! That was actually kind of annoying. The, uh, you know, jumping around and all. That was, that was actually kind of annoying. Gotta be honest, wasn't a fan of that. Uh, no. Man, he's a lot faster. I also lost quite a few units due to the whole, uh, way that I sort of handled that. I mean, he should be alright. He's got a fair bit of health. So, I don't, I don't think he'll be... Alright, alright, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna run away from here. Uh, all right, but please. There's no like attack move. There's just attack. So, super annoying. There we go. Okay, did we get the sample? I, okay, we did. Awesome. Okay, so that's the first mission. Which, it, you know, is, it is basically just, you know, we're, we're not going to play that. So now we're going to play the Hominidian, or the humans, and we're going to do their faction. Um, it's pretty much, for the most part, the same one. Although, I will say this, a little bit harder. Um, hey, do you need fire? I love for battle. So, that's easy. yeah. Super cool. Shall we attack? Our forces are under attack. Let's go. All members in battle formation. Where should I set the fire? That's easy. Oh, is it? Is it now? Is it easy? Finish it all. All right. So all we have to do is just, you know, kind of wipe everything out. I don't care who it is. Our forces are under attack. 
Heroes in battle formation. Okay. Fortunately, our tanky boy is actually fairly strong. So all we're doing is once again, you know, you gotta you gotta get to the end. I mean, you know, like I've been saying for a while now, this is just literally a clone of StarCraft. Like even even these early missions, they are harder though. No joke. Uh, a lot of the. Uh, Ah, there we go. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna move these guys over here, and I'm gonna grab these. Nice. No one I'm coming up from behind. Also, uh, that is a thing. So that's, you know, always super super fun. Uh, all right, where are my? These are yeah, these are commandos. So now we just have to hunt and look around for, you know, for the, the queen's nest as the, might have went a little bit too quick there, but, you know. Yep, see, that's what I'm talking about. Armor just gets shredded. Absolutely shredded. Um, totally not a fan of... How utterly fast the armor gets shredded. That is a huge pile of bones, I think. I'm not really sure what specifically that uh, sprite is, but bones, maybe, perhaps. Kind of looks like bones, you know. There you go. I think it was this way. Yes, it was this way. Lovely. It's bothering me again. All members in battle Oh, man, we're getting... Brian, I'm going to have to ask you to stop doing that. Ah! I'm far less concerned about the tank. The the tank... All right, we're just, we're just going to move him as a, a unit now. Because... Well. It's bothering me again. All members in battle formation. Move fast. Alright, so the, the nest is over there. Which it's bothering we should be able to wipe out pretty quick. Alright, there we go. My goodness. And you know. It's a pretty quick. Pretty quick and easy mission. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna, you know, just like I said, I'm just gonna play through because uh, I just kind of want to show off what is Aatrox and the three different factions. So the last faction that we're gonna look at is the Creates. I guess I'm saying that right? Creates. Find and destroy the expanded Hominidian base. Death of Kais and Barunga. Okay. Alright, so we gotta wipe all this out. Now, these guys I've played literally none of. I've played against them, though, in a couple skirmish matches. But. It, it, it follows the same formula that Blizzard is famous for. Where, you know, the first mission is basically you don't really do much, but. You know. Okay. So, these two are the hero units. And these guys are the... whatever. They're the fodder. I mean, the art for this game, though, is spectacular. Now, granted, it did come out, you know... Quite a while later in the, you know, the life cycle. Uh, so, you know, at this point, RTS games were mostly moving into, like, the 3D territory. I mean, when this game came out, you know... Command and Conquer Generals was on the way, uh, or it was out. Okay. That's super annoying. It's like they're like right over there. 
Wow, this is a lot harder than the uh, the other one. You guys are actually pretty darn tough. All right, my behemoths are dying. They do not heal. Very annoying. All right, let's go pick up all of our other fellas there. All right. Nice. So for those of you who have, are still watching to this point, and you're probably wondering how I got it to run the way I did, uh, I am using uh, DG Voodoo in order to scale to this resolution. I, I was using uh, the D3D, what is it, compatibility layer for like, you know, it's for like old games that use Direct2D and all. Well, it's for other games too, in fairness. See, that's annoying. Accidentally clicking away, super annoying. I'm trying to carve like a path because that is the number one thing to take out there. Um, all right, so we got to find their base. I mean, this is literally just like the reverse but I guess it makes sense. Like, how else would you do, like, three factions, you know? They're all, you know. Well, I guess I, I, guess I found their, their base. I guess. I mean, I would assume so. I'm, I mean, following the formula of, like, everything else in life. Yep, found the base. Okay, get in there, please. Please, no, no, no. We're gonna just wipe out everything here. This is the clearance sale. Everything must go. So these are your various difference. You have Quark, and then you have uh, Muon. I, I really have no idea what those things are. But two kind of energy pools, I guess. All right, let's wipe this out. I want to know War Factory no more. All right. I know I don't have... Oh, there's the barracks. Yeah. I don't have to wipe out the whole base, but, you know, it's like... I feel like it's necessary. I mean, they did send a massive behemoth of a tank at me. There's also quite a lot of, like, uh... I'm not gonna say like side upgrades, but there are a lot of upgrades for like your your units and all. And there's a lot of like strange and interesting type units that to me just honestly don't make too much sense. Well, they do make sense, but like they have some units where they're like very specific. Uh like there's a there's a human in there's a human unit that's like only anti-air. And you have to, like, emplace it. It's a strange unit. It's a lot of damage, though. So it's totally worth it. Okay, so this is Aatrox. And I found this game. And it's pretty cool. So there you go. There you have it. Um, kind of a short video. But if you guys would like to see more of the campaign or whatever, definitely do leave a comment below. And I would be happy to play through, like, the full campaign. Uh, you know every every single mission and just roll right through it it is actually you know i know i kind of made fun of it quote unquote <laughs> made fun of it a little bit at the beginning you know particularly with the intro and then you know with this but i honestly just want to say that it is a solid rts that despite being a clone of starcraft in many ways is actually a better game than starcraft so it's kind of wild so, with that, I will leave it here. Y'all have a good one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to, uh, you know, leave me a really, really nice comment. And if you'd like to support this channel, don't forget to become a member. Members get ac early access to videos and all that good stuff. And if you link your YouTube with your Discord, you also get uh, custom... Uh, not custom. You get specific roles within the Discord and access to uh, member-only uh, chat channels and stuff like that.